Moto X is a great device with bigger screen in smaller body, fast performance, front facing speakers and everything that you need. And in this video I'm gonna show you 10 applications to add new features, replace some stock applications and overall enhance your experience using it. The first app on the list is Pixel Battery. In smartphones with AMOLED screen, black pixels means that the pixel is turned off and it's not consuming any battery. So what this application does is it turns off some pixels in the screen so that less energy is being consumed while you will still be able to read everything on the screen. Check this out if you don't understand. As Moto X has AMOLED screen, it will benefit from this application. I do not recommend to turn this on every time, but when your battery is low, this application will really help to get more screen time out of remaining battery. There are 5 different labels to turn off pixel. Lowest means there are fewer pixels that have been turned off and as you go below, number of black pixels will increase. In my test, I kept the screen on for constant 20 minutes for 3 of these levels. I didn't use the phone for anything, just kept the screen on at full brightness. On off, my phone consumed 4% of battery and in the highest mode, it consumed just 1%. In medium, it consumed 2% and in the lowest mode, it consumed 3%. So this application does help to get more screen time when you have limited battery. So that's all about this application, it's a very useful app. This application adds a layer on top of the screen. So while installing APK file, the install button doesn't work for some reason. The cancel button works, but the install button doesn't work. Disabling this application at that moment will solve the problem. The next app on the list is Swift Open. This application allows you to launch application, shortcuts, contact very fast. It's like a side launcher. Launching applications can be done with a single swipe. It's really easy and very quick. You just swipe and the application is open. From settings, you can set up the app list, choose number of applications you want here, change the swipe location add swipe detector. So that's all. It's a really quick way to multitask. However, this application is not available in the Play Store yet. You can download the APK from the link below in the description box. And as this application is still in beta, whenever you change anything, you need to close the application from the notification panel and open it again. It should not be a big deal once you have set everything. The next app on the list is AppZilla. This is an app locker application. But this app has a lot of features in it with various locking options. From here, you can lock and unlock application just like in any other app. Locking and unlocking mechanism is very simple. Then there is individual lock, having different lock for different applications if you want to. Then there is lock profiles. From here you can create different pins for different times and locations as well. Toggle protection is also here so that before enabling toggle like mobile data, it will ask a password. Remote protection allows you to lock and unlock application by sending an SMS with the keyword set here. Third eye feature captures images with front camera if someone has entered wrong password three times. Media Vault allows you to lock videos and photos. Then from the settings here, you can choose between various lock types. From simple passcode, pattern, to a gesture, to time pin, or tap which is like knock code in LG G3 or rhythm where you need to press the screen in a pattern. And the main feature is that you cannot go to the app, app manager and tap the full stop button to disable this application, something that cannot be done in many app locker applications. The next application on the list is Timely. I have included this application in this list because of its features but mainly because of its design. The user interface and the design is enough to consider this application. On the right side, there is timer and stopwatch. Then there is normal clock and at the left side, there is alarm. This application synchronizes alarms between multiple devices as well. After setting up alarm, you can choose in which device you want to set this alarm. It also makes wake up experience better. The alarm sounds are good with smart rise feature so that the sound increases gradually. When you pick up this device, it recognizes and the alarm volume is reduced. 
animation looks nice and there are various color themes that you can choose. So overall it's a must have application due to its animation, design and synchronization amongst various devices. The next app on the list is Calc Plus. Calc Plus is a very powerful calculator with minimal good looking design and some very useful features. As you open this application, you will see how nice it looks compared with the default option. Then this calculator also shows previous calculation results which is very useful and it also allows you to edit numbers or operators by just touching them. Swiping will take you to scientific operators and other common ones with spaces to add constant value. From settings, you can choose default trigonometric unit and the number of digit you want to round to precision. From here, you can change font style and size. And there are various themes available to choose from. Next is launchers. Different people like different styles of launchers. So I'm going to show three launchers here. First one is Nova Launcher. It looks similar to default launcher but provides many customizing options, allowing you to change various things like grid size, allowing overlapping widgets and much more. Next is Thema. This launcher can change the look of your phone with a click. There are many options here you can choose from and applying is very easy. Just select it and press apply. Last one is Action Launcher. This launcher kind of looks like default launcher but with more useful features. Customizing ability is not extensive like in Nova Launcher but there are some unique features. Above you have a search option to search application, contacts, music. This is a very useful feature. The folders are a bit different in this launcher. You can set cover app in folder. So whenever you tap it, cover app will load up. To access the folder, you need to swipe up. Outside you have quick page. A separate home screen which can be accessed from anywhere, even from application. There are many useful features in this launcher. So just give this launcher a try and see if this launcher is for you. The next app on the list is Power Amp. Power Amp is the best alternative to the current music player. You get some useful features in this player like sleep timer, lyrics option, allowing to change a lot of settings like bass, treble, equalizer, it automatically downloads album art as well. From the Play Store, you can download a lot of skin to change how the player looks. This player shows its lock screen with music controls and album art. Overall, this is a solid option that has high level of customizability and features. I highly recommend to replace the default keyboard. I'm going to show two keyboards. These keyboards are quite different on their typing style. First one is Swift Key. This keyboard has better predictions. It can predict the next word before you type it. It learns how you type from the word and the phrases you use. The Swift Key Flow feature is very useful here. This keyboard has various modes. You can choose among full, thumb or compact mode. You can even resize the keyboard and undock it. You can even change how the keyboard looks. There are a lot of themes available. This keyboard also has cloud integration so that you can have better predictions right away. The next one is Flash Key. This keyboard uses gestures while typing, like swiping right to add a spacebar, swiping down to navigate through suggestions, swiping left to delete a word and many more. The letters are bigger here so that there's less chances of error. And once you get along with this keyboard, your typing speed should increase. The predictions of this keyboard are good and there's also cloud integration. Both of these keyboards are available in various languages. The next app on the list is ES File Explorer. As this device didn't have a file explorer, which is a must have application, I decided to include ES File Explorer in this list. This application has all the features that you would need in a file explorer. Easy ways to copy and paste files, an application manager, cloud storage client, FTP client, built in music player, video player and PDF viewer. It can also extract compressed files as well. If you are rooted, you can also make changes to system files as well. So overall, it's one of the best file explorer available for Android. The next one is MX Player, a very lightweight video player that can support various formats and has a user-friendly control. 
This is a must have app for any Android device out there. Swapping on right and left will allow you to change volume and brightness. You can easily zoom in and out by pinching. A lock option is also available there. So overall it's one of the best video player out there for Android device. Having all the features that you will need. So that's all about this video. Did you find any useful applications for yourself? Do comment below and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching and have a great day.